When most people hear the word snake, they quickly become unnerved. Snakes waggling forked tongues, beady eyes, and slithering bodies generally disturb people. I know they do me. And although most snakes are not venomous, the fact that some of them are leads many people to avoid them altogether. But the truth is, snakes are superb examples of masterful design in the animal kingdom. With their long, skinny, legless bodies, snakes are perfectly designed to move efficiently on all sorts of surfaces. They can climb up trees, in trees, and down trees. They can slither underground or above ground and over hard rock or loose sand. Black mambas can reach speeds of 12 miles per hour, while the sidewinder rattlesnake has been clocked at 18 miles per hour, faster than most people can run. Snakes don't walk on water, but some do swim on top of it. And anacondas, the largest snakes in the world, are excellent underwater swimmers. Other snakes, like flying tree snakes, can effectively jump and glide from one tree to another or from the tree to the ground. They can glide. The movement of snakes may be a little creepy, but it's a marvelous thing to witness. They clearly have been designed with a powerful, complex, muscular system which is perfectly attached to hundreds of bones, all of which allow snakes to bend, curl, twist, slither, and turn in all sorts of ways and on all kinds of terrain. Plastic Man, Mr. Fantastic, and all other stretchy superheroes are the inventions of creative imaginations, but snakes are the real deal when it comes to elasticity. It's difficult for humans to swallow anything much bigger than a quarter, yet some snakes, like African rock pythons, can stretch their jaws and swallow prey as big as a 120-pound deer, horns, hooves, and all. How can a snake swallow prey so much bigger than its own head? If left up to evolution, one would think that the first time a snake tried consuming such a large animal, he would choke to death. Snakes have extremely stretchy ligaments that allow them to separate their jaws and open their mouths extremely wide. I don't recommend you try that anytime soon. Have you ever seen a night vision camera with specially designed sensors that are built to detect heat? Soldiers often use this technology called infrared when they need to move around in the dark while keeping a close eye on the enemy. What these soldiers actually see with infrared equipment is the heat of various objects, including humans and animals. Amazingly, some snakes have built-in heat-sensitive pits that are located on the top of their mouths just below their nostrils. With these, snakes are able to sense the presence of both prey and predators. These pits are not merely empty holes in their heads. They're complex organs packed with nerve endings that snakes use to accurately detect the direction and distance of other animals. Rattlesnakes may be best known for their rattles, but they also have these amazing heat-sensitive pits. Their superbly designed infrared sensors can detect changes in temperature as little as one one-thousandth of a degree. If no one would ever claim that infrared cameras are the result of the non-intelligent, random processes of evolution, why would anyone say that the superb heat sensors of snakes are merely the product of naturalistic evolution? Surely a snake's sensors, scales, elastic ligaments, and highly versatile movements testify to more than millions of years of evolution. Surely these wonders of design demand a designer.